Hi guys, Constance here. Welcome back to A Good Life Farm. So it has been a work day today. I did a ton of mowing. I still got more to do, but um, you know we had a, a bunch more rain again, and so we finally got dried out. For the most part, there's still an area over on the side of the property that I can't mow quite yet, but it's all right because it's not really grown up that much. Um, but got a ton mode uh, and then discovered an issue with our practically brand new uh, zero turn mower that we bought last year um, and I don't remember what month it was <clears throat> that we bought it but I mean we, we've only had it less a little less than a year the area or the the front two wheels kind of swivel and they're kind of in you know individual wheels and they have their own like little bolt axle thing and then there's like the bracket that holds said axle and it you know the whole thing swivels well this piece that holds the wheel where the axle goes through it, it's like bolted through there it is slicing through the bracket and it's like two-thirds of the way through um it's about to completely like slice and then the wheels just gonna go Psh! that is nuts um, so we're we took some pictures of it Mr. Smith is going to reach out to um, Craftsman and see if we can get the piece replaced because that is just ridiculous I don't know if it was put together wrong or what the deal is but uh, at the very least I was able to get most of what I needed mowing mode um, we didn't notice that until like I was just about to, to park it anyways um, but got all that done today and I just wanted to share so there's been some developments <laughs> on some things that are going to be taking place here um, so most of you know that we have our first grandbaby Willow and she, they live here in the same town that we do well my daughter-in-law is going to go back to work and that means somebody has to take care of Willow well of course I'm going to take care of Willow there's no way I want that little girl going into uh, daycare or anything like that I mean that only is the cost just insane nowadays um, but nobody's gonna love your grandbaby like you love your grandbaby grandbaby I am going to be becoming her caregiver during the day um, uh, my daughter-in-law is only going to work part-time so it you know I don't know how many days a week it'll end up being but it's I, it's, I mean I know it's a big deal to do this because it's a bit of a lifestyle change uh, you know, we're empty nesters. It's been a long time since I've raised babies. Um, but it'll be totally worth it. Um, I'm just going to have to figure out the, um, figure out how to maneuver <laughs> homesteading and blogging and writing and vlogging and all the things while taking care of a baby. Um, in truth, I'm thinking there are some of the things that I do that I may need to scale back on. I'm not going to stop YouTubing. I'm not going to stop blogging or anything like that. I mean, that's basically what I do. I mean, you know. But there are other aspects of work that I do that I could scale back on. Um, you know, I, I have the two websites and then, of course, my channel here. But I've also got several other publications that I write for. And so I think it is time to step back from some of them. Um, because I do have a tendency to say yes to a lot of things and overextend myself. I am a, I am the kind of person who is not happy if I'm not doing something. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm always doing. Uh, that's why I don't really watch TV hardly ever 
um, because to me it's just a waste of time and I could be doing things important. <laughs> but that's just how I'm wired. And I actually, kind of along the lines of taking care of Willow during the day, I don't think I had shared with you guys, but, uh, well, I have shared in the past that I homeschooled my kids. You know, my kids, I homeschooled them, not all 13 years of school, but there came a point where we were like, enough is enough, and we pulled them out, and then I homeschooled all the rest, uh, all, the rest all the rest of the way through graduation. Well, um, just before Willow was born, we had had some discussions in the family and came to the decision that I will actually be homeschooling Willow. So I'm really excited um, to have the opportunity to do that. I mean, there's, I mean, I just, that's like my dream. I'm beyond excited to be able to homeschool her. And again, that's going to mean lifestyle change, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll just adapt and, um, you know, jump back in. And so in my excitement of, you know, thinking of homeschooling, and I know it's so far down the road, but I'm, I've already been like researching curricula that didn't exist back when I homeschooled. Um, seeing what opportunities are out there. Um, I'm really excited that uh, Alabama, the state I live in, actually changed some of their laws because it used to be that in order to homeschool legally you had to be signed up under basically an umbrella school. Um, usually it was through some church and I'll tell you it, it, it kind of I'm very much about the principle of things and it's kind of stuck in my craw that I had to write somebody a check to be able to homeschool my children every year. It, it really, I didn't feel like it was right, even though it was a, you know, a church school or whatever. It wasn't a church that I went to. So why should I have to pay money to, to some organization I really don't have anything to do with just so I could legally homeschool my kids? So. They still have that, but now you can establish that your home is its own church school. And you don't have to go through the state, you don't have to go through any other organizations, you can just homeschool, as it ought to be. So I'm really excited about that. I've already been connecting with like homeschool groups and um, looking at like extracurricular opportunities down the road for Willow when she gets big enough for it and all of that so can you tell I'm a little excited I've even been ordering curricula <laughs> I just want to have everything that I need to get started when the time comes I actually had kept um, most of my curricula when I homeschooled all right my battery had died so I had to swap that out all right, so as I was saying, back when I homeschooled my kids, um, I actually hung on to most of the curricula that I used. I didn't keep their elementary school stuff, or I didn't keep most of it. I did keep the sciences because I kind of love science, and so I just kind of hung on to those books. Um, but I had all of the middle school books, all of the high school books, and so I'm just kind of reintroducing myself to uh, the elementary school options. And there is so much new stuff that's out there that didn't exist when I homeschooled my kids. Um, I actually looked into, well, I actually purchased the kinder school, kindergarten, the kindergarten edition of something called the good and the beautiful i i went through a lot of their um like other samples that they have online and everything and you can actually download the entire curriculum as a pdf for free i mean that's pretty i mean who does that um but i went ahead and i ordered the 
the printed books, the spiral books, and um, they'll probably be here sometime next week. Um, so I'm pretty, I, I like them, I've not used them before, but I have heard a ton of good things about them, and from what I saw, it looked like a really good uh, math curriculum, so that's what I'm going to use for Willow for Kindergarten. Um, you know, just kind of feeling it out, and we'll see how that one goes. If I don't like it, I'll just switch it to something else the following year, or mid-year if it goes really bad. Sometimes it does, you know. That's the thing about homeschooling. There's so many different uh, options out there, and a lot of time parents will feel like once they have committed to a curriculum that, that they have to use it the whole year. Well, that's just nonsense because children and people in general have different learning styles and if the curriculum that you are using teaches in a particular learning style that doesn't match your child, it's just going to be a nightmare. I mean, it's just going to be tears and suffering and nobody's going to enjoy the schooling and nobody's going to learn. So I, in the past, when I was homeschooling my kids, you know, I did have some curricula that just was not working. And I had no qualms about ditching it and starting up with something else. It, there's, that's one of the lovely things about homeschooling and the freedom of that. Um, you know, and then if there's something you can't use, you just sell it. It's no big deal. And there's lots of places out there where you can buy used curriculum. Um, from other parents who, you know, they want the money to buy next year's curriculum. So, yeah, there's plenty of options out there. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Um, but it is definitely, uh, it just, just the whole keeping Willow here is definitely motivating me to, um, get going on some of my indoor projects that got started in the last year and then just you know we would get busy and we didn't get to finishing them and they're still sitting unfinished like for instance um our spare bedroom i i filmed about that how i was ripping out the carpet and i was painting the whole you know painting the walls and all of that stuff i bought the flooring to replace the flooring in there and it's not done i painted i did paint ripped out all the carpet bought the flooring i've got the flooring we just have not had a chance to put it down so that is going to get prioritized um because we're going to need to use that spare room um, right now it's just a catch-all. There's just a bunch of stuff in there, um, but I'm going to need to get the flooring done so that I can then organize that room and make it a usable room because if we're going to be keeping Willow, um, she's going to need a place where she can sleep undisturbed for her naps and everything. Um, and the living room is not that. Not with my three crazy dogs <laughs> who bark every time a cricket farts. <laughs> I'm just saying, but in any case, I'm looking forward to um, having Miss Willow here. It will be a challenge. It will be um, a definite lifestyle change for a while. Um, I am definitely rusty as far as uh, multitasking with a baby. <laughs> I mean, I've always been a multitasker, but it's going to take a little bit of practice of multitasking with the baby but we'll figure it out so if you are a homeschooler and you have uh, some information that you would like to share with me on new curriculum new programs new whatever that maybe didn't exist um, when my kids were little I would love to hear your input and suggestions please leave those in the comments down below because that way others can see them as well. So thanks for joining me here again at the homestead. My name is Constance at A Good Life Farm and I'll talk to you all next time.